In the past one or two years, cream products have taken over cosmetics and makeup brands, and you're seeing it pop up everywhere, which is fantastic for the mature woman because it really does look beautiful on mature skin. Which ones are the best and which ones are worth your money? That is coming up in this video today. Hello friends, thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to bring you cream products for the mature woman and I have so many of my favorites that I can't wait to show you. I wanna tell you first that this video is in collab with my dear friend Tamara from Tamara's Timeless Beauty. If you are not acquainted with this gal, let me just tell you a little bit about her. I've gotten acquainted with her a little bit through Instagram, a little bit through doing some group, group collabs before with her and I have just fallen in love with her content. This girl is so down to earth and yet she is absolutely gorgeous. She's gorgeous inside and out. She loves makeup just like I do. She does tons of reviews. She does all kinds of makeup. She does skincare and she just has fun with it and you can tell that her love of it really comes through on the camera and that is why I love watching her and almost always when I watch her I find Find something that is a hidden gem that she has found so I really enjoy her content and watching her and I hope that you will go over and show her some love tell her that mrs. Melissa am sent you and I hope that you do decide to subscribe to her channel because she really is someone that I think that you will enjoy I'm really excited to see what Tamara's picks for this video are because we haven't spoken about any of our content at all we just came up with the title and then we could go from there so so if you're new here from Tamara's channel, I want to say a special welcome to you and thank you so much for being here. I am 53 years old and I've been doing YouTube for about six years. I love doing this. My channel is mostly makeup based. I do have some skincare thrown in there, which I absolutely love to do as well, but mostly it's makeup based and I try to keep it very affordable too. And the reason is, is because I know that we all can't afford $75 for a foundation. So I hope that you do decide to subscribe and all of my regular followers, thank you so much for being here with me. You know how much you mean to me and how much I love you. By the way, the shirt, yes, it can be um, linked today. Let me pan you down just a little bit so you can see how cute this thing is. It has some buttons right here. It is kind of an umpire waist and then it's quite fitted. So I do wanna tell you that if you do decide to get it, we're coming back up. If you do decide to pick up the shirt, they have a bunch of colors but i do want to tell you that it's very fitted and it's a great stretchy fabric that's super soft but it is quite fitted so you might want to go up a size i normally wear a large in just about every top and i could have done with an extra large on this one just so you know i will also link the earrings as well i think i've worn these just very recently but i really love the way that these catch the light with this hammered kind of silver color on it i'm i'm a silver person anyway let's get into what the crux of this video is about. Like I said before, cream products have kind of become all the rage. I love them because on my mature skin, they don't look powdery. They don't look cakey. They seem to just melt into your skin and they don't show texture or your pores. And they kind of help even give you a little bit more coverage. One of my favorite foundations is a cream foundation. These are the cream foundations from KVD Beauty. And this is the Good Apple Foundation and I have it in two colors. This one is my darker color for summer, but this color right here, which I think is light 18, this is just perfect. I am wearing this today. I will tell you that a teeny tiny, tiny bit of this goes a long way and it is super high coverage. I put this on always with a dampened beauty blender or sponge because it is that thicker consistency and you can get a little bit carried away if you're not careful. I make sure that my sponge is a bit damp so that it really does, you know, blend that out very well instead of you getting a lot on there. And I've had this for quite some time. I use it quite often. I haven't hit pan yet. And I love it. I love the way that it covers. I love the way that it sits across my mature skin. I just think it's one of those um, foundations that just about anybody can wear. If you do have very oily skin though, I would say that you might want to skip this because 
oily skin this is probably not going to work on my skin is very normal to dry in the winter and then it gets super dry when the heat comes on in the winter time so this is great for the winter time for me one of my favorites that just performs so well. One of the products that I simply can't live without, period. I will never be without this product in my makeup in some form or another, and that is color correctors. I have such bad, deep, dark, circles underneath my eyes and it is hereditary for me i know that when i don't get enough sleep they actually turn a little bit red even so it just is something that i have to go in with way before i go into my concealer otherwise my concealer is not going to do me any good whatsoever so in telling you that i actually have three here and these are the ones that i have right now that i'm trying to use up my very favorite of all time is the pixie by petra color corrector in the little pot in brightening peach that is the one that i would recommend to all of you but first of all this is the one that i'm trying to use up right now this is the tarte cc color corrector and this is in light medium and as you can see i'm at pan here i like that this one is super duper emollient the other one that i'm going to show you from charlotte tilbury actually has that same characteristics this one is in medium and i got asked why did i buy it in medium well the reason is is because when i went and got the lighter colors they were just too light it was almost like putting almost a white with a slight peach cast to it on my under eyes. So this color works really good for me. I like both of these. I think of the two, I would probably pick the Charlotte Tilbury because it just, it seems to stick around a little bit better. It just really does its job well. Now I will say that the Tarte is a little bit more creamy, a little bit more emollient. I shouldn't say creamy because the Charlotte Tilbury is very creamy too. The Tarte is just a little bit thinner of a formula compared to the charlotte tilbury now if you need something that is very affordable or very inexpensive that still does the job just as good it is the believe beauty color corrector and you can pick these up i think this one was like four dollars at um, dollar general now that one is right there went on almost just like the charlotte tilbury one you can see that each of those colors has just a tiny bit of a difference to them they still look the same so i guess it depends on where you're at what what you like if you like a very emollient one you might really like the tart one i have had a few of you ask me about the situation of your concealer or your foundation picking these up i usually just tell people you know what take your time in between and let that set in and then take your beauty sponge and go over it and pick up any extra product because that's kind of where we get into trouble with color correctors is using too much product so go very sparingly you can always build up as you go along now as far as bronzers slash contour goes I have four right here, which I absolutely adore. The Cream Contour from Fenty Beauty. This one is in amber. And this is the Cheeks Out Cream one. This is the very lightest that she makes, and this is the Light Four Contour. I adore this product. I've gone through one, and this is my second one. The reason being is because this is super cool toned extremely cool toned so you are not going to have it pull orange at all i love the fact that i can put this into my high forehead carve out my cheeks and my gels and it just do that shadow effect plus you have the cream product where as if you used a powder it might look a little bit chalky on you this is gorgeous a little bit more affordable is the kiko milano sculpting touch creamy stick contour this one is in two one i think that's the chocolate color now this one again has that same has that same cool tone to it but it's just a slight bit warmer and a bit darker than the fenty cream one this one blends out really well actually all of these blend out i wouldn't be reckon recommending them to you if they didn't but this one when it blends out you will get a little bit more of a bronzing look to it while it's still being quite cool toned this will last a very long time on your cheeks or wherever you're putting it this is just a real technique little angled fan brush that i had I'll put this a little bit of this into the forehead part or into my hairline just a little bit so you can see when i get in these lights i feel like i get really washed out not 
I just feel like I get washed out by the lights, but this contour is really good. And then also the Catrice one. This is the Triangle Artist Contour Stick, and this one is in color Warm Brown, which I don't feel like it's terribly warm. I guess I do feel like it's a little bit warmer. It does have a little bit more warmth even than the Kiko does, I feel like. So I do like this one. Again, very blendable, beautiful product. And then from Danessa Myricks, this is actually her Contour Balm. You can tell that this is well loved as well this is cream product is um, a little bit stiffer than the fenty one but i still like this so much and this one is going to almost be almost a little bit olive tone to it which i like on my skin and i can't even describe to you why i like that but it turns out to be a beautiful bronzer for me, whereas this one from Fenty, you can tell is very cool toned. That's a little more bronzing looking. They all blend out so well and they don't leave you patchy. I would say the Danessa Myricks probably lasts more lasts longer than all of these. So this is a beautiful one. And I think this is the lightest shade. I'll make sure that I link that down below so that you know that. Cream highlighter was a little bit harder for me. The two formulas that are cream that I have that I really love is number one, the Super Shock from ColourPop. I love these. This one is Flexitarian. It's probably my favorite one ever. It's what I have on today to give that beautiful glow. I have loved Flexitarian probably for two to three years. This has been out a long time, but my goodness, look at it. It's just, it's incredible how beautiful it is and how beaming it is. Now I do have another one that's not quite as bright as that. And this one is called Smoke and Whistles. Flexitarian is just kind of a medium neutral color. Smoke and Whistles has a little bit more of that champagne peach in it. And can you see that it's just not quite as glowing or not quite as shimmery as Flexitarian is? So I really love those. This formula is very bouncy. It's very um, cream to powder formula. So when once you get it on your cheeks, it's going to be there. It's not going to smudge off during the day. This Super Shock formula, whether it's the blush or the eyeshadow or the highlighter, bronzer, whatever they bring out, I buy them immediately because I love how good they are and how wonderful they are for mature skin. And I know a lot of people have said that they've had problems kind of using this. Use your beauty sponge, put it in there. And then that's how I did it this morning is I just put my beauty sponge in and then I tapped it across my cheeks I love these. They're so beautiful. And then the other one from Koki. Koki Cosmetics has one, and this is just called their Cream Highlight. And this one I think is in Rosy. Rosy is a very peachy pink toned one that I think is just gorgeous. And I had a, I should have put that on a different spot. Let's try this right here and see if we can get a little bit more as to what it is. I love that tone. It You could wear this across your cheeks, with just a little bit of bronzer and it would be so pretty just to do just that and not have to even do blush it, it's just gorgeous one of the things that i recommend that everybody has is one of these eyebrow pencils now, i use this non-stop if i don't want to just bother with putting an extra primer on i'll put this all across the lid buff it in with my finger and it takes out any discoloration if i'm in a hurry some days i'll just paint it across my um, brow bone up there, smudge it in, put a little bit in the inner corner, and I'm ready to go. I use this across my lips if I'm having a day when I have messed up my um, lip liner. I'll just use that and then blend it in. It just is really multi-purpose. Let me just show you why I think I love it more than others is because it has a very pink undertone. Had some light coming in there, so I had to close the blinds. The pink undertone in it works so good for me. So now what Benefit has is on one side they have the highlighter part and on the other side they have just the matte part. I like the highlighter part too when I want a little bit more really super brightness right there in the inner corners. Now one drugstore one that I fell in love with a long time ago is the one from Milani and this is their Gilded Shadow Stick. This one is one I use almost all the time for my inner corner and I can put this on just a little bit right now so you can see what I'm talking about. It just has such a great brightness to it. And the other thing about this is that this will 
dry down, not dry down, that's not a good word, but it will set down and that's going to be there all day. I really like these a lot. The yeah. other um, pencils that I really like are from Sephora and these are gorgeous as well. This one is a silver toned. It's so pretty. These will again set down and you'll have these on all day. I really do like these. And if you wanted to put these as a one and done, you could do that too. I love that silver. It's so bright and pretty on anybody's eyes and it's gorgeous. So now you're probably wondering what do I have on my eyes today? And that is from Sydney Grace. Now these tubes right here are full of the most beautiful liquid eyeshadow, cream eyeshadows. I don't consider these liquid because they're not very fluid. They're quite creamy. So this one right here is down the coast. This is a silver tone again, kind of more along the lines almost of a taupey tone. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Oh my word, isn't that gorgeous? So a tiny little bit goes a long way. And I find that every single time I wear this purple, which is Wish, every time I wear this purple, I feel like I get too much on. So I'll put it on my hand like that. And then I'll get a brush in there and I'll use the brush because look how saturated that is. And that's what I have on my eyelids today. And I love these shadows. They do not feel uncomfortable. They're not going to dry down and crack. They're going to be there all day. Once they dry down, you do have a little bit of time to work with them. If you wanted it to be lighter, oh, I just got another color in there. If you wanted it to be lighter or if you wanted it to be, you know, a little bit more on the bright side, you can do either one. But beautiful shadows for the lid. I love all of those. I'm over here rubbing. I took everything off. I'm over here rubbing. And what's left are the Sephora, um, shadows that's kind of shows you how good those are i saved my favorite for the last and that is cream blushes and i'm not going to take a long time to talk about this again because sometimes it's in stock and sometimes it's not and that's the patrick ta um i can't remember what it, main stage palette blush palette anyway i've talked about this in almost every video these are gorgeous colors. I'm not going to talk about it again, but I will talk about his individual ones. I have two. First one is, oh, she's different. And that is my deeper color that I have. This is kind of a, it's like a deepened rose color. And so you have the cream on one side and then you have the powder on the other. And his creams are phenomenal. So he puts on his powder before he puts on the cream. These melt so well together and they're gorgeous. The other one is She's That Girl and this is the very lighter rose pinky tone. This is gorgeous. I think all of his products are amazing, but when he developed this, he developed something very special. So I hope that you can get your hands on that. We're having another, another Sephora VIB sale come up very soon, which I'm just, I'm totally in shock about. So yeah, we're doing that again. Now, recently I found the brand Kosas and I fell in love with these as well. This is a duo of a lighter, almost highlight color and then the um, cream blush over here that's the deeper color. These are amazing. They're very creamy. This is really, really emollient. So I will tell you that right off the bat, that highlighter color, it's not like there's any shimmer in it. It's just that it's balmy and that the color is lighter and has just this light catching property to it. I really love it. And then you have the deeper color, which is this gorgeous, by the way, this is an eighth muse. And this is a gorgeous rose mauve color. I just put that on my lip as I was trying to talk. <laughs> this is a gorgeous rose mauve color. So beautiful. Those are just gorgeous on mature skin. I really have loved those. Also, ColourPop, I talk about these all the time. I think I put this in my video that was um, the makeup that they'll have to pry out of my cold, dead hands. This one is between the sheets. Again, it's that bouncy, lovely formula for the Super Shock blushes. I love these so much. It's been a blush that I have worn for years. This one, I need a new one pretty soon because I'm gonna completely pan that one and it's so pretty. Again, this goes from your cream to your powder. So it's going to hug your cheeks. This, these are a dupe for the other blush that I'm gonna show you in just one second. This one is Birthday Suit. This is a little bit lighter. You do have to build that up a little bit more. 
more along the pink side and this one is kind of a rose so love super shock blushes have loved them forever i feel like they're a dupe for the mac glow play blushes and this one i've almost panned hit pan on this one this one is blush please this is a gorgeous color this is the color that i do have on today it's just a beautiful flush and i don't have any place to do this this is a, a neutral color beautiful flush blush it's just the perfect neutral that goes with so many things i love that one and then i do love this one called grand as well this one is very peach so this one is really pretty and if you're somebody that likes peach and you're a little bit lighter toned you're gonna love that one too so those are they're so pretty just gorgeous almost the identical formula of ColourPop. And then technically the flower bombs, these are technically not a cream, but I put them in here because I do love this formula and I feel like it's not a liquid that comes out to where you're gonna, you know, have it there and you're gonna feel like you can't get it to dry down. Look how pretty and different that color is. A true blue pink, and this is called Bubbly. It's a beautiful formula that is absolutely gorgeous on anybody's skin too. And then of course I have my multi sticks from elf these have been ride or die forever this is rose shimmer it is my very favorite and you can see that it is a very rosy color i hope that you did enjoy this video i know that it was a little bit longer but i really love cream products i had about triple this amount that i wanted to show you and i really whittled this down because i wanted to show you as much of the good stuff as i could Thanks for being here. If you're over from Tamara's channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget when this is over to go over and see Tamara because honestly, this gal, you're going to love her. You're going to absolutely adore her. I, I definitely adore her. So please take care of yourselves. I hope that you are all happy and healthy and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you friends. Bye-bye.